got to, okay, let's see. Uh, we have 24 seven on the volts here. Um, okay, fullest tank. So I just got it fueled this morning. Um, so we are gonna go full. Enter, 56. Okay, that's our same old weight balance. So we're good there as well. Okay, um, fuel selector on fullest tank, yep. Uh, stand, okay, circuit breakers and caps, here we go. Okay, let us commence. So I did a external pre-flight this morning. Weight and balance, we talked about that. Emergency equipment is on board. Passengers have been briefed in the past and seat belts are fastened and secured. Brakes are gonna be held here and battery switches are already on. Strobe lights coming on. Okay, cold start, so we're gonna quarter inch. Mixture cutoff, propeller area is clear. Pump is coming on and we're gonna prime the pump. Okay, so we got fuel in there. This is where I'm gonna yell. Ready? Man cave, enter at your own risk. You like that, don't you? <laughs> okay, now let's get those alts on so you can get this going. So before you do that, I want you to, you did good with the switches before turning that on, but I want your eyes to look here uh -huh. and verify positive charge. Okay. What you did is boom, boom. Yes. How do you know it's working? To check the positive right. charge. When you connect your iPad to the plug, what do you check? Where do you look? The, the little lightning bolt. Why do you look up there? Why not just make, plug in and walk make, away? Make sure it's actually charging. Right. So when you turn these on, I want your eyes to look there and make sure it's charging. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. Yep, we got to make sure it's working. Good. And the only way you could do that is developing a habit. There's no way around it. You do it with your iPad yep. and iPhone because it's a habit. Oh, yes. Uh, a thousand oil pressure is good. I did put a, some oil in it. Cool. And positive charge. And here we go. So let's go to 125.6, which is down here. 747 Zulu, wind 120 at 5, visibility 10. 1,200 scatter, temperature 262.19, altimeter 2988. ILS runway 29 right, circle north for left base, runway 11 left approach and use. Landing and departing runway is 11. 11. 11. Runway 29 left, Baz is out of service. 5G NOTAMs in effect for the vicinity of Torrance Airport. Multiple cranes in the vicinity of Torrance Airport. Check NOTAMs for more information. Torrance Tower Frequency 133.07. Use caution for bird activity on or in the vicinity of the airport. Use caution for work in progress adjacent all runways and taxiways. Hazardous weather information for California and coastal waters available on flight service frequencies. Advise. All aircraft readback oh. hold short instruction and runway assignment. They have with a lot of extra Advise stuff. on initial contact. Yes. You have information. Charlie. 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 All right, so let's... Torrance Airport Information, Charlie, 1747 Zulu, wind 120 at 5, visibility 10, 1200 scatter, temperature 262.19, altimeter 2988, yep. ILS runway 29 right, circle north. Torrance Ground, Sirius 218, Julie Sirius at East T's taxi uh, to runway 11 left with information, Charlie. Number 218, Julie Sierra, Torrance Ground, Roger, runway 11 left, taxi via Alpha Bravo. Via Alpha Bravo to one one left to one eight Julie Sierra. Central aircraft for separate information Charlie current altimeter two nine or eight eight. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's a beautiful day. Finally, not a not a not a lot of soup going on. Yeah, it's good stuff. Surprised the slings aren't out here already. I'm shocked. There's not more flying going out into this place. It's just like it's it's almost like only in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, probably because they assume that there's going to be that so they don't that, book that low yeah they don't fog book and then they book it. So people are sitting around or canceling. Yeah. I uh, you know yeah I don't know if they're IFR rated though. If they were, man, I'd be doing IFR to VFR on top all day. It's just getting through the 500 foot. Well, I think most of the students there are are getting their private. Still. So.
When I do private with students here, I do IFR to VFR on top to do maneuvers on top. But I don't think those planes are IFR rated. Oh, really? That's what I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. It would be... It would be, wouldn't it be weird to buy a plane that wasn't? You know what? They might be IFR rated because I think they're, I heard of some check rides being done for instrument check rides in that. So in that case, I don't know why there's not more IFR to VFR on top. It's one of the most useful tools for that train, you could have right. in LA. In LA. Yes, because of the marine layer. Because of the layer. It's not all soup. It's just a little layer. Yeah, it's just a tiny layer. That That's gives it. You, and you want to go to the practice area and work with a student. That's it. It's all sunny up top. Yeah. And those are the best best days because there's no one in the practice area. So yeah. you don't hit anyone. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Totally. Yeah. Totally, dude. It's absolutely fantastic. Totally, dude. Totally, dude. We shut this for, yes. for ergonomics. Ergonomic. 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 Phenomenal. Lots of Cessna 152s out of this airport. Um, yeah, again, probably, you know, training. A lot of training going on, bro. Yep. Fantastic. A lot of training going on. Uh-huh. Man, you're pretty much good to go with IFR. Well, <laughs> pretty much good to go, John. I, yeah. Well, we're. I think. I. I think. You that's showed up nice. ready day one. I showed up excited to learn. You learned a lot in a very short period of time. Well, it's really my 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 instructor. Oh, now you're just saying that. It's the instruction that really makes all the difference. I just say it. I pre I appreciate it, but 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 I always say this: What's the biggest treat a student can give a flight instructor? Cookies. Aside from Reese's oh, peanut butter. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chocolate chip. No. Uh, <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> um, the uh, biggest gift a student can give an instructor is being motivated. Mm. A motivated student is the greatest gift an instructor could receive from a student. Motivation. Oh, man. Working, not just flying. I'm sure in your world, too. Working with a motivated oh, yeah. individual yeah. makes a world of difference. Totally. Yeah. If you, you know, as uh, you know, we have employees, like, you, you, if someone's trying hard, that you, I, I really, the results are secondary to the motivation. Because you'll get there. You'll uh -huh. learn. You'll, you'll make your mistakes. You'll grow. If you're motivated... You got a good attitude, then you're, you're gonna, it's gonna work out. One hundred percent. You can't, and that's I, hard to teach. You know, it's uh -huh. hard to teach that kind of like drive. Uh huh. I'll take motivation over anything else. Skill, we'll figure it out. We'll train a little bit longer, and we'll figure out how to hand fly a plane and maintain four thousand. That's not a problem. Uh, knowledge, we'll figure it out. But motivation, like you said, I'll take motivation over anything. If you really want it, we'll get there. And that's the biggest gift. I thought when I became a flight instructor that it's cookies. Yes. But it's actually motivation. Treats. Your treats. How about free coffee in the <laughs> hangar? Is that, is that <laughs> get you anywhere? Coffee's good, yes. That's good coffee right there. That's good stuff. It's good because it's a year old uh, Keurig cup. <laughs> Maybe it's, that, it's like wine. It needs to sit. Yeah. Let and then age. after a while it gets better. Straight ages. The wheel. Good work. Okay. Break on. <laughs> okay. Let's. Um, we can get our clearance if you want. Yeah, while well, the engine's warming. It's the yeah. first flight of the day. Let's do it. Fantastic. Man, the air conditioning in here is lovely. It's wonderful. Okay, so we're going to French Valley. French Valley. Right? All right, let's do this. French Valley. Torrance Ground, Sierra's 28 Julie Sierra is in the run-up area, 1-1 one, one left. I'd like to pick up our IFR to French Valley. Number 218 Julie Sierra, roger. Uh, stand by. Stand by. Oh, look at you writing smaller letters. <laughs> it's like that child. Day one, it was. It I was know. The... I'm getting used to it. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Good stuff. So the truck with the fuel, they won't fuel it in the hangar. You got to pull it out, right? You got to pull it out. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm 
signed up with the truck, but I just find it easier to to do this, the self-serve. When I had a tie down, it was convenient because I could call from home. You know, someone told me that that self-serve is actually more expensive. It's it's, it's counterintuitive, I know, but but uh, but so, but. Other mark two one eight Juliet Sierra, you're clear to French Valley Airport via Fly Runway heading. No question, climbing left turn heading two nine zero. Intercept the LEX one seven zero radial to limbo. Radar vector Steel Beach. Victor eight. Paradise. In the Paradise zero nine two radial at one five DME six. Jet six. That's Juliet Echo Sierra Echo X ray. And then direct destination. On departure, maintain three thousand. Expect five thousand. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequencies one two seven point two. Clock four seven one three. Okay, I'll hold for readback. Let me just get that all down. Thanks. So, 28 Jules here, French Valley Fly Runway. Well, actually, take a left turn. Climbing left yep. turn. CLT. Climbing left turn to uh, to 27, to 290. 290, good. You remember we read yes. the departure procedure out of here? Good. Then fly runway, then, then, then intercept the uh, LAX 170 radial. Two. To, to limbo. Good. Then Seal Beach, uh, Victor 8, Paradise. Um, and then there was this uh, 15 DMA, and I know what, what, where she's getting this. So that's why I wanted to take a second. It's the zero, it's the zero nine, it's this weird thing where it says zero nine two. Yeah, I don't know why they still do that. And 15 DME. That's it, that's all it is. That to, point in just, space is a waypoint. But it's right next to paradise just repeat on. it back right. as she told yeah. you we'll figure it out yeah three thousand five thousand okay torch got too many julius here is ready for you back i'm ready to do it sarah roger go ahead with the reback 20 julius here is clear to the french valley airport uh climbing left turn to 290 intercept the lax 170 degree radial to uh, limbo then seal beach victor 8 paradise and then uh, the 092 radio at 15 DMA, um, then Jessix, uh, then direct uh, 3,000, expect 5,000, 127.2, and 4713. Number 8, Julius Sierra, Rebecca is correct. We'll on the run up here in a bias tower, IFR. Good day. Good day. Thanks to 20, Julius Sierra. Good. Okay. So it's a little weird because we had that thing, but and, and we're going the other Anytime direction. Anytime I get that type of thing... I feel like I'm back in the 1960s. Yeah, I know. It's it weird. just doesn't make sense, but it okay. is what it is. So let's start with a climbing turn to two. Right here, let's mark our. A our climbing two what? Nine. Climbing left Good. turn. Not a climbing turn, a climbing, climbing left, left turn. turn. Right, Good. left turn to 290. Good. And then, uh, then we're going to go to the LAX Good. radio. Good. So let's put that bad boy in there, right? Why is it always a bad boy? Could it not be a good, it, it, no, a good no, kid? No, LAX is not. Is, LAX is just not <laughs> not like that. Um, okay, course is 170. Let's do this. We're intercepting the radial outbound, which makes our course and radial the same number. Does that make sense? Let me... Let me Repeat that back. Our course and our radio are the same thing because we're going away from the station. Good work. So it's the same thing. Right? Solid. Okay. Yes. So one seven zero. Got that in there. Then uh, let's go to flight plan. Where we have KTOA in there, so we're going to put in uh, limbo as our first point of action. Then um, Seal Beach, SLI. Did she, I don't think she said, well, it's all good. What? I don't think she said Victor, but um, 64. But then we go uh, menu, load airway, Victor 8. Are you not sure whether or not she said Victor 64? Is there, is there, but, is but, there an ounce of doubt in your, in your mind about that? Yeah, there is. What but do we do when we have an ounce of doubt? We should talk to them. But Good. but I will say that there is no difference between going from Limbo to Seal Beach 
It, it is Victor 64. So it's a straight point. line. It's the, a straight the, line. The Victor airway does not bend. There's no dog. There's bite. no. Number eight, it's okay. here. 282 is here, Roger. I gave you the wrong departure frequency. I'm sorry. It's a 134.9er. 134.9 for 282 is here. 134.9. And since we're already on with her, let's go ahead and double sorry, check with her. 282 is here. It's 134.9 for departure frequency. And one quick question is the between Seal Beach, sorry, between Limbo and Seal Beach, is that Victor 64 that you wanted to go on or just direct? It'll be uh, Limbo, Seal Beach. Cool. And then it'll be Victor 8. Awesome. Yes, that's, what she's cool. that's what we thought. Just double checking. Thanks a lot. 218 Juliet's here. No worries. And have a good flight. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. 218 Juliet's here. Good. So when there's an ounce of doubt, what do we do? We ask. That's it. But that's yeah, it. I didn't hear her say it, but I know that Victor 64 is that route, so cool. it's the same thing. Good. I just want to develop a habit yeah. where if there's an ounce of doubt as it relates to ATC or otherwise, we verify. We don't take guesses as pilots. Okay. That's it. So, here, I, can I show you, you, you already know this, but like, Paradise and that point that she did are the ex same place. Now, I know here, I want to show you what I mean. Here, I got it right here. It. So okay. Paradise is Jessix. Good. So we could omit that and just put Jessix. Right. As long as we understand well, and we're able to interpret it. Right. So we go Paradise to... Jessix. Right. Good. That's J-E-S-E-X. J-E-S-E-X. Does that look right? I don't know. What does it say on your thing? All right. Hold on. Well. Flight plan. Well, it's not actually there. Just go to the map. Yeah, let me go to it. Let me get to it. Uh, J E S E X. Yeah, J, J E S E X. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, and then destination is F seventy. Uh huh. There it is. There we go. Okay, now let me get the rest of this crap in here. So it's, it's not crap. It's actually really, really good stuff. <laughs> Good. Good, good stuff. stuff. Okay, so 3,000 is our first. Now, answer. is that what we do next, or do we do a double verification we want to do the, the route? Du we can do the double verification. We could, or we do? We do good. a double verification. Good. So the first thing we do is we... we so I want to cement this. When we load the route, we do double verification, and then, then when we're done with everything, do we do up. the thumbs up. Okay, Got good. It. Okay. Yep. Good. Getting it in, in there. So yes, it is correct. We're going to the right place. No waypoints going to Seattle yeah. or Boston. That's good. right. No, crazy, good, good, good. no craziness, right? Good. So now we're going to go to flight plan. We're going to double check it, which Solid. is, lim uh, well, first we have our, our runway bu heading. bug. We have our, our runway heading, uh, 290. 290 is in there. The 170 depart uh, of, of LAX, 170 is in there. Good. Then we have limbo. Limbo. Good. Then we have SLI. No victor in there. Good. But and you want to highlight and move it with the big knob one at a time. Cross-check it against your clearance. And then Victor 8, Good. down to PDZ, Paradise, VOR, Good. to Jessix, then to Destination. Good. Double verification complete. Solid. There we go. Then we have 3,000. Expect 5,000. We have 134.9 on this. 13490. Enter. That's right. Okay. Good. And then we have 4713 on the transponder. 4713. Four seven one three four seven one three. Okay. So now we do the thumbs up. So now we do it thumbs up style. Uh huh. So the first thing is, um, French Valley. We we have. So we go in order. Two uh, nine zero check. check. One seven zero check. check. We did our route check. check. Altitude check. check. Departure frequency check. check. Depart uh, beacon code check. That's it. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. So now we are good with that. So now we're going to do the run up. Good work. So let's go to the checklist. Let's go to the checklist. Doors are set. You good? Yes, sir. Okay, caps handle is removed. Yes, sir. Seatbelt is on. Seatbelt's not on. Seatbelt goes you on did that, for takeoff. You did that on purpose to test me. No, no, no. I take it off and I uh, when we uh, take off, it's right. on. I know. I'm just it's on for taxi, okay. takeoff, and Fuel everything. quantity. We're good. We're going to switch just to go to the fullest, absolute fullest. We're going to go to 50% on the flaps. We're going to verify that they're going down, and they are. Transponder is set. Autopilot, a quick check of the autopilot. 
is telling me that it's on, and I can override. And Good work. There we, oh, oh and the, the double click. I double click, that. yep, that little, makes the sound go away. Little, little, little tip tricks right there. Uh -huh. Okay, our navigational radios are set. Good. I could get to the head of the airplane with a little, with a little French Valley love. What if you're standing in a run-up area and there's a blast pad or like a, a metal thing behind you? for the jet blast yeah. at an airport, and all of a sudden you see on your HSI that you don't see any numbers. What could that be? It's because the, the on the HSI you're not seeing any, I'm sorry. What's the Did HSI? Point to the HSI. Okay, you don't see any numbers on there. What could be happening? Uh, what could be interfering with something, and what's oh, that the, thing? Well, the, obviously the, the jet, but if, if we're gunning it, maybe the air and jet blast is... So there's no plane or jet blast, there's just that big metal pad behind oh, you. Oh, so there's no pad. there's no plane there? Right. Well, I didn't know this. You're going to teach me something Good. new, but I assume it's going to uh, have some interference. With your magnetometer. Interesting. Yeah, if you have all those numbers go away. Okay. So just kind of taxi away from it. I, and, never, uh, I didn't know that. First yeah, time I ever heard that. see what happens. Okay. Cool. i trying to get ahead with the... That, the uh, the ASOS in there. AWOS, I should say. Um, AWOS. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go up to 2200. We're going to get that going. Go turn it all on. Air conditioning on. So here we go. 2200. Okay. 2200 and everything looks to be in the green. Positive charges. Good fuel flow. Everything is looking pretty good. So we're going to try our first drop is about 60, and the second one is about 100, but still within range. Still smooth, everything's green. Now we're going to go all the way down. We'll shut off our pedo because we don't need to deal with that. That thing can get hot real quick. Oh, yeah. I've, I've read or heard that, like, more than 30 seconds is not good yeah. and when you're not moving. So here we go. Okay. Now up to 1,000. Okay. Awesome. So there we go. Um, we're back to the checklist. And I'll turn off some of these lights. And there we go. So we checked all that, we checked all that, we checked all that. That was in parameters, so we're good. Power level, good. Fuel pump off. Flight controls, free and correct. Right, okay, good. Trim is is set, okay. And autopilot is disconnected. So now we're going to do our takeoff um, briefing. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to do a, a downwind departure a climbing left turn to 290 from 11 left. And we know that this has plenty of room. Um, if this is IMC, the only thing I would care about is runway heading to 400 feet, then climbing left turn to 290 and climbing at our 96 uh, uh, indicated airspeed. That's the only thing that matters. They're going to give me the call to switch and then probably give me another altitude, but that's the only thing that matters. I like doing that little what matters thing, uh -huh. because there's a lot going on, and you just be like, dude, the only thing that matters is This is what is my that. life comes down right. to right now. Right, especially if this was fogged in. Okay, if we have any abnormalities, any cast matches, anything going wrong, even if it doesn't feel right on takeoff roll, we're going to uh, pull, pull power back, apply brakes, and abort the takeoff. If after takeoff and without sufficient uh, runway in front of us, we're, and below 600 feet AGL, which would be indicated here, we're going to land straight ahead. Above 600 and to 2,000 AGL, we're going to pull caps immediately unless we're 100% sure that we can bet $5 million on making a perfect crystal clear landing. What if I only have 4.5? You don't do it. You pull. You pull. <laughs> pull immediately. You pull. If you have 4.9, if you have 4.9, you pull. Um, oh, Jeff. And then... Above 2,000 AGL, we are going to troubleshoot the problem until we get to 2,000. Then we can uh, pull caps as 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 per per the plan. What do you uh, squawk uh, during an emergency like that? Okay, to be honest, you want the real. The, I, you know, I suppose in an emergency you're squawking 7,700. At that little time, I would I would put that as a as a 
down the checklist. Just in general, I'm curious about the squawk. What do you squawk if I hijack the airplane? 7,500. Good work, solid. Are you planning that? You brought I, it I up. Can't, I, so can't, I, I can't give that away. Legally, legally I have to ask. <laughs> I have to ask what your intentions are with that question. <laughs> I can't, you know what I mean? You can't just, what kind of hijacker are you if you just give that away? It's kind of true, right? Like, that's not that's not in the hijacking uh, yeah. uh, handbook. You just want to pretend like you're a passenger. Yeah. When, well, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I believe we are ready to go. We can make a call. Are you ready to go? I am. I'm ready to go. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's talk to Tower, as they say. Oh, you got me curious about those slings, if they're IFR or not. I bet you they are. Uh, why would you spend a couple hundred, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars, four hundred thousand dollars a plane, or whatever it is? I don't know. Because what's four hundred thousand dollars? It's nothing. Come on, what's the compared to this? That's cheap. Four hundred thousand dollars. A couple hands of blackjack. Huh? It's just a couple hands of blackjack. No, not cheap, but I'm saying overall, if you look at Cirruses, yeah. and different planes, you know how much a Cessna costs? A 172? It's like oh, over half a million. They're going right in. Yeah, they're doing like pattern work. So let me just tell them I'm ready. Torrance Tower, Cirrus 218 Juliet Sierra is in the run-up area, 1-1 left, ready for departure. 218 Juliet Sierra, Torrance Tower, roger, stand by, pending high fire release. Roger, standing by, Juliet Sierra. 660 Sierra Papa, holding short, 1 1 left for left close traffic. 660 Sierra Papa, Torrance Tower, stand by. Would you paint your Cirrus that way like that? I thought about it. I'm ready, Juliet Sierra. I'm ready, Juliet Sierra, holding run up area, uh, pending high fire release. Holding in the run up area, pending high fire release, 218 Juliet Sierra. Um, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about going American. all American with that. What do, you, what do you think of her hair color? I like it. It's, it's pretty good. good. It's out there. Yeah. It's out there. It's totally. a buzz cut, and it's like... Totally. I like totally, it. dude. Left traffic. I like Let's it. Start. It's a statement. Okay, so we have our departure for you. 660 Sierra Pop, Torrance Tower. Uh, left close traffic is approved. Wind 110 at 4, Renee 11 left, clear for takeoff. 11 left, clear for takeoff. 660 Sierra Papa. That's a 172. Holding short, Renee 11 left. Holding short, runway 11 left, 28 Juliet Sierra. Beautiful. Yeah, the, the prices that planes have reached. Oh, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Well, yeah, before COVID versus during COVID, it went up, in some cases, triple. <laughs> it's crazy. In some cases. Mo mostly, it's like was double. No, but really, the, what inflation did to it is sickening. It's crazy, man. It's I mean, sickening. I, well, that's one. I think I explained to you my uh, reasoning for buying a new plane versus a used one. The market went up so quick, and the new prices didn't. They didn't react as quickly. And the difference between new and used was almost nothing. And so, like, and, you know, as we said, there's probably more valuable. I probably have made money on it if I wanted to sell it right now. But That's not crazy. that I want to, but. You know. That's crazy. Now, things are changing a little bit. Things are slowing down. Like, yeah. Things have definitely slowed down. It's not like a crash, but it's that rate of increase is definitely flattened out. Yeah. Still high. I hear that. All right, so AC. Yeah, it's like uh, it was, and it was, and during COVID, um, you know, in 2021, it was. Near, make left it was really hard to, to make find right a used plane that was like any good that wasn't completely overpriced and there was a bidding war for it. You know, it's just it just. I, uh, 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 unable. Here's your pop. Just make left traffic. Thank you. Major Juliet Sierra, traffic in the left, cross on Cessna's left, uh, closed traffic, wind 080 at 7, running 1-1 one, one left, clear for takeoff. 1-1 one, one left, clear for takeoff, 2 and 8 Juliet Sierra. Okay, so bam, bam, blaps. You see the micro running 1-1 one, one left, clear, touching good. Good. rolling now, Landing for departure. Landing good, one left, trim, trim good, one caps good, no one on final, good. Okay. Take it away, John. Are you ready? I'm seat always belt? ready. Try to take off that seatbelt on me again, or what? Seatbelt? Here we go. Torn Tower, November 2060, uniform, we're off Hawthorne at about 1,300 feet. I'd like to request to do some touch and goes on, uh, with Charlie. November 2, Lima Echo, turn your base. Turn your base, 2, Lima Echo. Zero, zero, okay, five, here we go. One and one half miles left, base 900, indicated test. The number two following, number one, one last quick touch and go. 
And Falcon she wants to fly. Yes, Number two, clear touch and go, 660, zero, zero, pop. There we go. Number two, uniform, Torrance Tower, verify information, Charlie. You verify your information, Charlie, 660, uniform. 660, uniform, thank you very much. Uh, continue uh, on your current heading and... Uh, okay, flaps are going to come up. Descend and maintain at or below 1,100. Get the 1,100, maintain the heading, 660, uniform. Crack that bad boy. Crack it open. Okay, 200. 96. 685, you know what, I'm going to have, uh, you're going to be traffic for an IFR that's going to be turning left and climbing to 3,000. Turn uh, eastbound now. Uh, suggest okay, CFR 400, here we go. Of 100. Heading 100, 60 uniform. My plane? Why is it your Let's plane? Let's get the foggles on. Okay. Are you sure it's your plane? Yes. We're in a turn here. Climbing turn. All right. Okay. Oh, I forgot how to fly in a turn. Well, I'm just, you know, it's the last. Listen, I'm a, I'm a. Just out. Just double chair, double verification, right? There you go. Your plane? My plane. Your plane. It's totally not that I, of course, you're like the master, but like I'm just didn't want to jump off the controls without like really understanding what we're doing. I am far from a master. I am a simple kid from New York. From Roger. Go another mile, then you could turn southbound for a left base entry. Going for another mile, we'll turn southbound, left base on. Ray Julius, air traffic uh, 2 o'clock, and uh, 2 and one half miles will be southbound, 1,200 indicated Cessna. Uh, they're going to be behind you, I'll keep them behind you. And additional traffic, so mile final, 800 indicated Cessna for the runway. Contact, local departure, great flight. Thanks, looking for traffic, contact departure, 218 Julius here. Okay, buddy. You got the you got the traffic for me? I'm looking. SoCal departure two one eight two zero run uh two nine zero on the heading and one thousand six hundred climbing three thousand. Two one eight two zero SoCal departure side end. Medivac 3, Tango Juliet, additional traffic 12 o'clock and 3 miles top direction, 5,500 Skyhawk. We're looking, 3, Tango Juliet. Hey, Juliet, see rate of contact, mile northwest, Torrance, climb maintain, 4,000. Climb maintain, 4,000, 218, Juliet, zero. 6, Romeo, Whiskey, resume on navigation. Here we go. Number 48, Victor, traffic, 1 o'clock, 2 miles northwest, down citation, 6,000. Uh, 48, Victor, negative contact. Eight Juliet Sierra, climb maintain five thousand. Climb maintain five thousand. Eight Juliet Sierra. Insight, no factor. Can you see how we write it down on the airplane? Tango Juliet, Roger. Yep. Good. Totally, dude. Perfect. Three Tango Juliet, the center maintain five thousand. Down to five thousand now. Three Tango Juliet. That's how you Perfect. fly. Three Tango Juliet, cut a approach. One three four point two. Good day. Thirty four two. Three Tango Juliet. Great work. Thank you, sir. 290 and going to 5,000. Look at that. At 96. Now, I'm up to 210. 210, 220, 0. 6 Romeo Whiskey, Cut the Capitch, 134.35. 336 from Whiskey, cut a pitch, 134.35. Beautiful work. Yeah. What's your mental number for oil temperature before you lower the nose a bit? 150, 8 Julius 0. 150. Well, it's it's for me, uh, 410, we're looking at it, 420, we're doing something about it. Cool. As long as you have a number. Oh, I got a number for you. <laughs> Advisory to copy. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You know, when you do something, possible pilot deviation, I got oh, a phone number yeah. for you, Advisory yeah, to copy. Exactly. 404 on the heat, so we're good. I mean, I'm, I've got it 100 now just to give it a little 
more air. But I know you your your thing is like, hey, keep it at BY until you need to not keep it at BY, right? That's my thing. That's your thing. That's my thing. So we're going to keep it at 96 for you. Another way to say that is give me best rate of climb until so you can't do to engine temperature. Right. Yep. So I'll, I'll give it a, there for you. Especially in this plane. If you go anything less than best rate of climb, you're under 500 feet a minute. Yeah. And IFR, that's technically a required report. 130. 130. 2180-0. 1-3-0. 1-3-0. 1-2-7.2. 127.2, oh, enter. One two seven point two. So Cal approach Cirrus two one eight Juliet Cirrus heading one three zero at three seven three thousand seven hundred climbing five thousand. Two one eight Juliet Cirrus to approach Roger. Beautiful. Are we done with the LAX one seven zero? Yes, we are. Good. We could throw that away. Good. Are we done with limbo? Yes, we are. Good. So we could activate limbo to Seal Beach. How do you do that? Uh, I could go to flight plan. Limbo, zero star three one five to the top level six. Uh, I could do limbo to Seal Beach. Three one five to the top level six. Roger. Roger. So the other, the other way. No, the, the other way. Juliet Sierra, turn left heading zero nine or zero. Zero nine or zero two one eight Juliet Sierra. So the way you activate a leg, it's just if you want to remember, is you highlight the point you want to go to, to and then menu, and then and activate. Then activate. Leg. Leg. Two seven zero. Hit home. Uh, good. good. There you go. So if in a little bit they say intercept um, Victor sixty four, then it's already ready for us. Right. And if they say direct Seal Beach, guess what we'll do? Direct. It's our next waypoint. Enter. Enter. Make sense? Um. To be honest with you, I was looking at my heading. Cool. So can you repeat if they that? they tell us direct CO Beach, direct enter, oh, yeah. enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because totally. it's our next waypoint. Totally. Which is most likely what we'll get. Got it. That's where he's having us track towards. Good work. Yeah. So you see what IFR comes down to? We're thinking ahead. We're thinking yeah. of our options, and we're pressing the buttons accordingly. Yep. That's totally. it. Totally. He has no clue what we're doing right now. Yep. All he cares about is that we comply with his instructions. That's right. That's it. That's it. It's on us to kind of figure this out. 746 off Long Beach, heading uh, 200. Good morning, 746. Departure with a contact traffic 11 o'clock, one mile north, sign out to the case 2300. Okay, so we're 090, coming up on 5000. And our temperatures are looking pretty good. So far, first, checking in, six home whiskey, 6.5. I would not look at CHTs in this point. I think I told you that. Yeah. Look at oil temperature. Right. Who taught you to look at CHTs? This other guy that, you know, the other instructor I went to, uh, to Minnesota with. Were you in a turbo? No, no, we were in this plane. Yeah, don't look at CHTs. You see what happened? CHTs actually went down and your oil temperature is reaching red line. Yeah. Yeah, so look at your oil temperature in this naturally aspirated SR20. Yeah, I I hear you totally. Yeah, come up with a mental number: two ten, two twenty, whatever it is, uh, above which you will take action. Okay, here we are at 5,000. Now we gotta slow it down a little bit. Varney 746, turn left heading 160. That's 160, Varney 746. What do you think, like 65 or? 65 is where we cruise at. Here's our numbers for training world. You ready for this? Climb full power, cruise 65, descent 25. And then on approaches, you'll find sometimes you'll need 15% power to maintain 100 knots. Easy? Yeah, let me repeat that as soon as I get set up here. Okay, mixture is leaned. Show me 5,000. Approach Skyhawk 1448, mixture at 5,500 CFR. 
Okay, so 65 on our cruise. Um, you said 25 on descent, and you said uh, 45 on approach. No, sometimes you'll need 15% power on approaches to maintain 100 knots sliding down the slide. Oh, yeah. Five Julie Papa, clear direct Los Angeles. Good job, direct Los Angeles. Good work. Whenever we get a chance, let's safely transition to autopilot by first setting up our scoreboard. Okay. So we start with heading. Good, because that's what we're tracking. Yep. And then we're gonna we're at five thousand, so we're gonna go alt, which is on. Which is there, good. And so we are ready. Good. Except we need What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. So why is your hand on nav? I'm just well it started to turn a little bit and I was wondering if I had done something wrong, so I just was kinda yep. like was turning floating to around. Heading. Good. Solid. Good. Yeah, I wasn't I was just trying to think that is it it's turning, so is it right or wrong? And it was right, so I was just making sure. Good work. Solid. Good. Now that we have that going on. Let me switch tanks. Yep. What are some things we could get moving on in terms in the in the name of getting ahead of the airplane? Well, we could certainly um, go to COM2 and, and listen to the conditions over there. Cool. Which are not coming in yet. Barney 746, turn left heading to 030. Um, we have three three the approach, but I can get my plate up. Yep. We could... Run through so it again Julia, while Pop, loading it. On one, three, four point nine -er. point nine okay, five, so five, runway. Oh, yeah, it's warning me about a TFR here, so. This is a Disney. Disney one. Okay, so. Okay, so. Flight plan. Or, uh, menu. Load. Sorry. I got to go to procedure. Select. Hey, Julia, Sierra, climb, maintain 6,000. Climb maintain 6,000, 218 Julius 0. Good. Morning, sir. Now, before you, do, before you do that, with autopilot, we first do the power, then we tell it what to do. Right. So, mixture full rich. Power then, forward. Then. Then you tell the plane what to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what Good. we want to do is. We want to go down. Passing above you with 6,000 and Aerostar. We'll Good work. Start flight control. Just do like. Uh, negative contact. We're only going 1,000 feet, so I don't want to uh -huh, yeah. go too crazy with it. Go to 110, 105. Number 48, Victor, turn 20 degrees to the left for traffic. Who's that? 20 degrees left for Good. Um, sorry, so we're in the RNAV 18. LPV. Good. LPV. We're going to go. We talked about this. Um, uh, and we want. Oh, sorry. We want. Small knob now. Yeah, we Good. want Jessix. They Good. already told us that because we expect that. Right. We the expect. best thing ever is to have an initial approach fix that happens to be a waypoint on your flight plan. Talk about streamlined. Does that make sense? Yes. It's like they've already put it there. Jessix is a waypoint on our flight plan. So the LPV DA is 1600. Okay. So we're going to put that in there. But if for some reason we're going to go from the other runway, we're going to remember that we have to go up to pattern altitude. Does that all make sense? Am Correct, I, am yes. Am I thinking right? Uh-huh. Okay. You had that momentary silence that was like... Well, in, in real life, you have circling minimums. 6,000. Right, but, but not right now, it's a sunny day. People are flying Four around. Yes, yes, we'll make sure that we join the pattern. Correct. Two at 3 o'clock and 2 miles northwest on a 6,000. Resume on navigation. Resume on navigation. Okay, temperatures are pretty good, so... We're okay. SoCal Skyline 465 for Charlie Golf, uh, just airborne from. Uh, so uh, near 090 uh, zero to going to 6,000 and, uh, and 107. Okay, so we loaded our approach. Your destination. Um, uh, we're survey flight and we have some service to fly. Uh, we're going to double right check here. it. Here we're on the lines and in uh, Torrance Airspace, uh, Charlie Golf. And in Torrance Airspace, what's your set there, Captain Charlie Golf? Uh, yes, the next couple lines. You could confirm these Charlie altitudes Golf. against your approach flight altitudes. Uh, Skyline, uh, 182. Okay. So, Jessix. Five Charlie Golf, Squawk 0203, ID. Jessix, 6800. 0203, ID. Ray Juliet Sierra, copy the approach on 124.1. 124.1, eight Juliet Sierra. Five Charlie Golf, at our contact three miles east of Torrance Airport. Five Charlie Golf. Nine zero, Center maintain 6,300. Slow to 190, then down to 6,300, Delta, uh, Center. What are you going to tell them? Level 6,000, 
Zero nine zero in the head. Good, good work. Approach two one eight Julius Sierra is level six thousand zero nine zero heading. November two one eight Julius Sierra, so Calipher, don't wait altimeter two nine eight seven. Two nine eight seven, two one eight Julius Sierra. Okay, back to our... Good, we reached cruise, so what do we do? We're going to go to our cruise power. 65. Delta 778, verify at 6300. Well, we're slowing to 190, we're going down to 6300 now. Okay, we're going to... Enrich in the mixture, sure. Good work. Okay. And now we'll get back to what we were doing. Right. So, PDC, we're at 6,800 here, and then it goes to, so, 4,600, which is right here, to, right, to TQM, whatever that is, then 3,800. Good. Then at uh, then 3,500 at, yep. at Dan. Good, so our glide intercept is 3,500. 3,500 on the final approach on fix. The final approach Dizzy is 2,600, and this approach point is going to be 1,600. Good work. And it's, So when we get to a mile away from Dan, we're going to configure, and once we have captured the glide slope, we're going to set 5... Let me double check. 5,000 into the altitude select. Good. So, check on approach. Uh, Skyhawk 9564 Bravo, we get to turn west. And that is when it's an autopilot coupled approach. If you want to hand fly it, and let's hand fly it. Sorry, you want to hand fly Well, you know what? Whatever you want, as long as we do a combination of them today, wherever. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this autopilot and we'll hand fly the uh, uh, VOR Alpha into Fullerton. Okay. Let's do that. Because you have to be proficient, obviously, in both. Okay. And also, you see how we're flying eastbound. Yes. And look at our altitude. 6,000. It's even, right? It's, yeah. So it's, the answer is the altitude rules only apply to, to you, planning, to, to filing. Yeah. Once you're in the air, they tell you to do something, you, you do, do it. it. Yep. Make sense? Yes. Good. It's, yes, absolutely. Good. You just do what they say. Exactly. But... Um, Number 138, Yep. Yep, got it. Good work. Okay, what else can we do to get out of the airplane? That's a good question. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see where she's taking us. Okay, yeah. So a little, a little more of a direct. So, yeah, she's, yeah. Yeah, I saw a lot of the flight, uh, you know, flight plans, um, routes were, were, were more direct, so she might be doing that. And you see what IFR comes down to? This is what we ask for, this is what we're cleared for, and this is what, what we end we, up flying. Right. Look how different this looks from what yeah. we were cleared. For sure. We're not even touching it. We're radar vectors the whole way. Yeah, totally. They're just going to tell us what to do. Uh -huh. So, we have... 746. Nothing yet on it's that. It's this big mountain range right here that's not... Uh, yeah. Traffic 11 o'clock, 1000. Temperature's good. Uh, look, fuel. Yep. Good. After we land, will it be a right or left turn off the runway? If indeed we land runway 18. 18 is going to be a right. Good. And the opposite will be a left. Solid. Good work. So we're thinking ahead. We're thinking ahead. Yep. We're and thinking ahead. Now. So, Cal, okay, Lear 108, you're in November, 11,500. Lear 108, you're in November, so Cal, Lafert, Shawin, Altimeter, 2987. Yep, always thinking about what you can do to get ahead of the airplane. Always, that's a phenomenal way to be as a pilot. What is there to do? What is there to do? November, you ready to start your descent? Affirmative. What is there to do? November, you do it. November, flying 160, vector further descent, and you can start your... So, there's an 8, Juliet, November on there that... I'll see you for now. A little different, yep. yeah. Yeah, just okay, hitting one. Get your, get your ears perked, right? Eighth Juliet November. So and this is pretty much it. This is what IFR comes down to. There's not much to it. Uh-huh. HLE Sierra, climb maintain 7,000. 
November 8th, do it. November 8th, start your VFR descent to 5,500. For a second, I was just hesitant. I'll tell you in a second. Hold on. So again, good, here we go. Good, good, power. Good, good. Mixture. Do you understand why we do the power first? Yes, because we're going up and we're going to need the power. Good. So if you tell it to climb and only then the power, guess what? If you get distracted after telling it to climb, it'll run out of power. Then your arrest will be descent. <laughs> your, your climb will be arrested. Remember, each Juliet Sierra fighting 100. 100, each Juliet Sierra. 100. Remember, each Juliet November, resume on navigation. On navigation, each Juliet November. Fly heading 100. 100 on the heading. So then I'll bring it down a little further. Go to, I'd just go to 100 knots. Your temperature looks good. My number is 220. That's my personal number on the oil thing. Yep, there you go. Get up there, get it over with. Get up there, get it over with. Get up there, get it over with. That's it. You see how your CHD is the wrong thing to look at. This thing will climb, will reach red line, you'll get a cast message while your CHDs are 402. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a more accurate live immediate Hello, indication. November, approach 127.3. 2738, November. 418, reduce speed to 190. I'm just going to maintain 6300. Okay, coming up on 7,000, one, zero, 7, zero. 7,000. And let's take a look at where we are. Let's see something. We're getting there. Approach 914 with the 8,000. Let's look at where we are here. What are you doing? Putting this arrow oh, on, on the, the top, top of, of the green. green. Yeah. yeah. Approach 914 with you at 8,000. Best power. United 418, the call approach reduce speed to 190, then it's going to maintain 6,300. See, even at 100 knots, we're doing 350 a minute. So, 100 knots is good. If your temperature's good, knock yourself out, get it over with, and that's it. Yes, sir. And that's it. Look at your CHTs coming down. Well, that's going up. So, if you looked at your CHTs, you'd keep it coming. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Okay, here we are, so we'll... United 14, kind of approach 121.3. 1213, United 14. Okay, there we go on that. Look at that, 9.9 .9 gallons an hour. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, these fuel prices, that is awesome. 9.8, 9.9. Okay, 100, 7,000. Okay, verify information, Lima. We have Lima, 2906. Temperature good. I'll just give you an example of how much, so you understand how much of a fuel gas guzzler the 206 is. Yeah. It's a turbo, but still. If I brought the power back at cruising at a, if I basically did what I had to do to I'm burn, to burn 9.9 9 gallons an hour, yeah. your ground speed right now is 136. My ground speed would be 100. So you basically fly 35 knots faster at 10 gallons an hour than I do in the 206. Yeah, right. Well. Which is crazy. Crazy. Crazy, I'm telling That's you. 30% more. It's unbelievable. Well, it's unbelievable. This thing has some advantages, right? Yeah, well, it's much more aerodynamically efficient in terms of its design. Turn 20 degrees right. And it's a naturally aspirated. So. So let's take a look at our METAR here. Looks like we have. Uh, 220 at 7 knots, 10 Good. miles clear. So what runway fav favored? Well, it's going to be our uh, eight, uh, 180. 180. Now let's get on with her just to make sure she understands. Tell her that we want the uh, RNAV 18 approach. Now let me ask you this. She's sent, she's a Class C. Forget she, what it says there. 
Okay. We'll just say we were requesting the RNM 1 8 approach. 100, HUO Sierra, we'd like to request the uh, RNAV uh, 1 8 approach for French Valley. One zero zero. You're there, you're there, you're there. One, you're, we're on 100. Zero zero. Good. Because she's, the, uh, she's taking us to the airport, we'll make sure that she knows we want the approach. 2405 on now, 690. Good. Do you think you could fly the entire approach? Do you think you could fly the entire approach without my input? 2906 at 8000. I believe I can. I believe you can too. I believe you can too. I want to run half a marathon tomorrow morning. Dude, that's hardcore. Wait, have you been training? Have you been like leveling I've been, up? No, I've been to running. It? I'm just running six miles, miles, thing like that. It's not too bad. See, you're a young guy. You can do what you want. Yeah. I would just be me. I'm just like I would do like eight and then ten, then I would work up. You know. Yeah. Like, but hey, go for it. I mean, yeah. half a marathon is only what six point six miles each way. Oh, each way, each way. That's it. No, not 6.6. 6. Yeah. Yeah, 6.6. 13.2, right? In total? Yeah, 26.4 is a marathon. 13.2 yeah, is a half. So 6.6. 6. Um, it's nothing. I mean, at 3.3, 3, I'm Something. already halfway there on my first leg. That's how I think of it. Yeah. Break it down. Well, you should, yeah, keep telling yourself that. You should. Is that us? Nope. Nope. See what I'm digging? 27.46, counterpart 134.0. So you see how they're taking us through this like yeah. valley here where the where the uh, the mountains are less yes. in intense, less intense. Now, interestingly, so she'll turn us left, obviously. Uh huh. She'll probably give us vectors to final or something, or direct it. Chat six is just right there. Direct Jessox. She's just getting us to the other side of the. Uh, Five seven Juliet, correction eight Juliet Sierra, flagging zero nine zero in contact. Approach on one three four point zero. Zero nine zero and one three four point zero four two one eight Juliet Sierra. Yep. One three four zero zero enter. SoCal approach there is two one eight Juliet Sierra heading zero nine zero level seven thousand. 218, Juliet Sierra, SoCal Approach, Ontario Altimeter 29087. I've got no information for French Valley. 29087, 28 Juliet Sierra, thanks. Um, so, Giant, uh, and let's, when you get a chance, uh, tell them we want the r 9 This is your opportunity. For what? Listen, you have a French speaking pilot out there. Oh, he's the French, I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, w when you get a chance, let's tell yeah. them we want the r 9 uh, Giant 3602 out of uh, 3700. That's that, French? 3602, SoCal Approach, ident altimeter 2987. Yes, sir, 2987, climbing 5000. I don't know what that is. SoCal Approach 282, sir, I'd like to request the RNAV for runway 18 of French Valley. Great, Julius here, Roger. Good. 3802, uh, ident. Uh, point one five. Seven Julia Kilo contact approach one two four point zero five. Get it. Density altitude three thousand seven hundred. Old Eagle Seven Julia Kilo contact Los Angeles. Quietly get approach on one two four point zero five. Twenty four zero five. Thank you. Nine thirty six zero two radar contact five west. Climb and maintain eight thousand. Uh, climb 8,000, giant Frenchbound Airport, automated weather observation, 1, 8, 4, 5, Zulu, 40, weather, uh, wind, 1, 8, 0, at 9, gust, 1, 1 4, 1, visibility, one, zero, uh, clear, uh, clear uh, below, 1, 2,000, temperature, 3, 3, Celsius, dew point, 1, 5, altimeter, 2, 9, 8, 9, remarks. Density altitude 3,700. Good, let's put 2,989 er. And how's our fuel balance looking? Well, I, we can switch. Good. Yeah, for sure. Fuel pump then, off. What's that? Fuel pump off. Well, I turn it on, then I turn no, it on. No, I know, I'm saying we yeah. can turn it off. Yes. 
Good. And the other thing is, um, so there was some gusts. The wind's down the runway, but it's in a little bit of gusts. And there's, yeah, it says switch. And. Florida Southwest 1743 is 1877, um, deviating and direct fire when able. So 1743, so cut approach. Uh, let me know when you're able to and what? maintain one four thousand. By the way, what would happen if we activated uh, the approach right now? This time at one four thousand. It would just it would get us, it would draw a line from here to, to Jessica, yeah, and it'll clean up the mess. Let's 7. do that. Menu procedure. Is he good situational awareness? Uh, yeah. Climb, maintain one four thousand JN uh, thirty six zero two. It cleans up the entire mess. Yes, sir. Yep. I want to just cement something. The, right now, Jessix is still a possibility, right? It is. So if you were flying along and you said, you know what, I want to activate vectors to final, I'm getting radar vectors. It's just straight line there. You see that? The only yeah. way you could get to Jessix direct enter enter is because it's part of our missed approach. Right. So now you lost a bunch of stuff. Now we got to go procedure. So I've got to select approach. We've got to go back. Uh -huh. Select. Jessix. Then we got to go here. So good approach. I then we need to do all that. Activate. Did not exceed two two zero exactly. Enough. Make sense? Yes, sir. So it's a little more workload. That's why you want to wait to activate yeah, vectors to final until Lots. these options are off the table. Lots of keystrokes. Go, yes. You want to reduce Earth keystrokes. Exactly. 19.7 descending via the Disney. Exactly. Delta 1390. So can approach altimeter 2987. Absolutely. Fantastic. Delta 1390. Giant 3602, contact Los Angeles Center 128.6, good day. 128.6, Giant 3602. Here's A. Julius here, clear direct tick move, descend and maintain 6,000. Clear direct tick move, descend and maintain 6,000, 28 Let's put in 6,000 and go to flight plan and do that and go direct enter enter and nav. Right? Good, now home. Yeah. And now we'll get on our... And now, we're, hold on, we're going to go... Descent. So with the send, it's the opposite. First right. descent, then power. Boom. So now we want to go down at minus 500. That's it, 25% power. 116 Foxtrot Romeo, so can approach altimeter 2987. Good work. 87, 6 Fox Romeo. That's it. Where, what, do you, what do you think about the mixture? Just leave it. Leave it? Leave it. Leave it. If you're descending a bunch, you could enrich in it slightly because you're flying into thicker air. But generally, leave it. Okay, so we are given direct SoCal, good morning. Tick-boo. 6,000. Uh, 6,100, climbing 7,000. Descending 500 feet a minute. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So... That, so Tikmu. I want to see you handle this approach on your I, own. I'm talking it out, my, you know, I Good. can handle it, dude. Good. I know you can. PS 2310, traffic passing left to right in front is a regional jet leveling at 8,000. I know in you can. PS 2310. So we're going to get down to 4,600 here. I maintain 6,000. PS 2310. Yes, 3936, I'll switch you here in a moment. That traffic just ahead to your right, uh, 7 5 and leveling at 7,000. Inside, Scouts, 3936. Okay, I'll put 3 6, 7,500. 3 6, so cut approach, altimeters 2 9 or 8 7. So he's got, he's got to put us in here. Before Dan, which tells me we're going to probably, he's going to, yep. Okay, C-77, checking in out of 16-6 via 3600, climb and maintain 7,000. Okay, we're at 6,000, so now we're going to... Yes, 2310, climb and maintain... I will uh, go to 100 knots. Zero thousand. You can go 65% power, we're still not. 1 is 1,000, one, 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 EPS 2310, we'll uh, expedite. That was 3936, contact approach 124.1, get in. 124.1, Skywest 3936. 3600, turn left hitting 090 vectors to traffic. Left to 090 for Giant 3600. Entered uh, 277, altimeter 2987. Absolutely solid. Southwest 1642, altimeter 2987. 2987, So let's think about what. what... 277, request 10 right to weather. 
So let me just ask you, since we're all, uh -huh. so it's a pretty sharp turn. Do you think they'll kind of get us out here like that to get us into that, that angle I don't think correctly? A, I don't think or do we'll go direct? Or I don't think we'll touch Jake, though. 3600 is at 090. It will give us a right turn to intercept final. Once it gives us a head. Contact March approach 133.5. Good aim. 133.5. Thanks a lot. 28200. That's 970. 133.50. That's on the wrong frequency, bro. 082. That's the 98 Alpha. Contact approach 135.5. Good aim. March approach series 218 Julius series level 6000. Okay, a direct tick move. Series 21, uh, was it 8 Julius Sierra? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 218 Julius Sierra. 218 Julius Sierra, sorry about that. Altimeter is 29 or 89. Are you looking for the uh, hold in lieu of uh, for the practice approach, or do you want to be re vectored first straight in? Uh, we'd like to do the uh, RNAV 18 uh, approach uh, straight in if possible. It's with Sierra Roger Vectors for the GPS RNAV uh, straight in, fly heading at 010. 010 for 218 Julius Sierra. 010. He'll give you Vectors to final. He was asking if you want to use this hole to get turned around. So now that he's giving you Vectors to final, what could you do? Procedures, activate what? Vectors to final. Good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't want... You can just maintain 5,000. Just then maintain 5,000, 2200. Um, yeah, I just want to go straight in. I didn't want to do that whole thing. Cool. That's fine. All right, so virtu uh, vertical speed, 500, and powering down to 25. Good. And from here on out, you could maintain 100 knots, because we're pretty much... We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting exactly. close. Uh-huh. What waypoint are we crossing right off our right wing? Dan. Good. Which, which is, is final approach. Phase. Good. How's your situational awareness? Fairly good, yeah. Solid. Good work. Fairly good. Fairly good. Where I come from, we call that absolutely fantastic. That's what we call that where I come absolutely from. Absolutely fantastic. You have to do it in the accent, or can you just say That's it? how we used to do it growing up. It was accent. <laughs> it was all accent. Did you play soccer, a.k.a. football? Yeah, it's no. actually it's soccer in Israel, not football. Oh, they can call it soccer. Yeah, there's no football. Actually, there's... The whole football game doesn't exist in Israel, uh, but then in Europe, soccer is called football. But in Israel, yes, it's uh, soccer. Soccer. Kadulegin. Say Kadulegin. So he's he's going to get me farther up here and then turn me in toward there. Yes. Right. Yeah. Say Kadulegin. So. Yeah. So 25 percent power. We good. We good. Seca do wagon. John, Seca do wagon. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> it means soccer. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't, it was so so authentic. I had it was just above my head here. Cadurego. Cadurego. Okay, coming up on five thousand. So then we will. I found that like forty-five percent power is about. 100 knots. There you go. Whatever works. Are we in the class Charlie right now? Uh, we. Pressure 85 traffic, 11. We, we are, yeah. Block, three and a half miles. Well, why is it no factor? Because we're talking. Well, airspace doesn't exist when you're IFR. That's correct. Yeah. Good. We're um, not even worried about it. Uh-huh. We're talking to the right people. We're approved to be it, here. It don't exist as far as we're concerned. As far as we are concerned. Okay, so 100 knots, 5,000. Get ready for a turn. Yep. He'll give us a right turn here in a little bit, and then he'll probably give us another right turn to join final. Yep. Unless he says clear approach. Good. Okay, 100 knots. 5,000, waiting for the turn. Fuel's looking good, temperature's looking good, everything's good, so we're just waiting. Solid. Whenever he tells us to turn, we turn. That's right. 
Although he probably forgot about us. You think so? I think so. I think he's busy eating his breakfast. Here's 8 Juliet Sierra. You can turn right, proceed direct, tick move, cross tick move out about 4,600. Clear straight in, GPS RNAV 18 French Valley. Okay, direct tick move. Um, and what was the altitude? At about 4,600. At about 4,600 for 2 and 8 Juliet Sierra. Cleared RNAV 18 to French Valley. Cleared uh, for the RNAV 18 French Valley. Affirmative. Okay. Archer 85, you're going to continue Wait, in the uh, Iran airport? Into tick move. Direct enter, enter on tick move. Direct enter, enter. Nav, you got it. I got it, I got it. Okay. Archer 85, Roger, you go ahead and remain on that clock. And then 4600. Go ahead and to Ryan Advisory, and I give me a call on the go. Radar service is terminated. Switch advisory, we'll give you a call on the go. Vertical speed. Just down to 500, down to 4600. I asked. I wasn't sure, so I asked. That's great work. Okay. It was a... And he has now given us the green light. So we, once we get on tick move... What speed do you want to be at? Well, we want to be at 100, so we're going to slow Good. down to 25. Um, now... Let's go 3D. Can we go 3D? You could. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm going. I stop asking. I'll just do it. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. 40 what did What did pressing this approach button do? It you know, it gave us the glide path. It armed Our the glide path. That's it. Why did it not arm the GPS? Because we're already in GPS we're already, mode. We're already there. Good work. Hold on one second. Archer 885. Uh, All right, you got this on your own. Yeah, I got it. I'm going silent. You're going to go silent. Good. If I can. That's your that's your best quality. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Kidding. Archer 885, I think you're just a little blow from my radar, so climb northbound. Okay, so we're going to join here, and then we're going to intercept at Dan. Northbound, uh, load the route. I got to insult you sometimes, right? Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. I'm with you. There's no. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, so we're going to start to turn here. How could I train to not get insulted if people don't insult me? Yeah, exactly. It's good training for me. It's good. You got to toughen up. Uh huh. <laughs> got to toughen it up. Good work. All right, 4,600. So our next. It's 3,800. There it. Now, why is that showing 4,210? Oh, because it's it's doing it for us here. So we want to get down now to 3,500. So I know I could do VNAV, but I could do 3,500 now. Vertical speed. If you don't do something with your throttle, what will happen to your speed we're as gonna, a plane descends? We're, we're going too fast, yeah. Good, go that's a gravity law. Anytime you descend wishing to maintain your speed constant, you should reduce your power. It will become a habit. So, ICLU 30, Dan at 3,500. So, 3,500 to Dan. March approach, A0131 at uh, 4,500, heading south. Archer 885, Ident. Ident 885. Could we descend under 4,200 until we reach Shikulu? Here's 8 Juliet, uh, Sierra, traffic coming across uh, your nose. Looks like 2,200, maybe a police helicopter. Okay. Look for traffic, 2 and 8 Juliet, Sierra. 85 radar contact, three miles um, north bus to Hammer Ryan Airport, 4,000. Your GPS practice approaches. Iklu, we are not, we want to be at 3,800 at Iklu. Approach approved, report inbound, Archer 885. And uh, the aircraft calling on answer, say again. 80121, March so. 22.5 at 4,500.
for uh, 131 March Approach Altimeter Good. 2988. And are you going to uh, Riverside? Yes, heading to Riverside. Better. I don't want to go below 3800, so I'm going to hold here for a second. Did we have to press altitude, or would the plane level off at the floor that you set, if you set 38? Here's A. Juliet Sierra. You can cancel IFR services airborne this frequency or on the ground via the landline phone number. Advise if you need that phone number. Oh, we'll cancel now. We'll cancel IFR now, please. 218 Juliet Sierra. A. Juliet Sierra, roger. IFR cancellation received. Uh, traffic 11 o'clock northbound 4,000, or 11 o'clock, 4 miles northbound 3,600 indicated type I know. Look for traffic 218 Juliet Sierra. Okay, so we're going to go VNAV. Hey, Juliet Sierra, our radar service is terminated. You can squawk VFR and change the French Valley Advisory Frequencies. Approved every day. On to the uh, CTAF for French Valley, 218 Juliet Sierra. Thanks a lot. Good. And you don't need to do any of this, the vertical speed. You could just hold your altitude there. V-Path is already armed. It will just, when that arrow when it, touches when it the center, it. it will switch to V-Path. You'll see in a moment. Good. Yeah, there we oh, go. There's the glide Did path. It. All right, so we got to get to CTAP 122.8 in here. So COM 122.8.0, enter. We are seven miles out, straight on, straight in, right? is just a part of runway 18 for taxi to parking. French Valley traffic, Cirrus 2 and H Julius Cirrus, straight in uh, on the RNAV, seven miles out uh, for runway 18, French Valley. You could just say Red Cirrus, and how's our speed looking? A little fast. Good work. What was our final approach fix? It was uh, Dan the man. What should we have done a mile out? We should have configured for, for this, yes. Lots of things to think about. Yes, sir. It's kind of different when the old doesn't help you. Yeah, I know, when you're telling me what to do. And we'll talk about the altitudes when we get on the ground because I was a little behind on that for sure. So we will discuss. Good work. Good work. Go to 15% power. And this is what I was saying, you'll need 15 to maintain 100 knots. 15 to, on the, on the glide path. Yeah, right? yep. or somewhere in the vicinity. That's right, traffic series 87 uniform, Romeo is taking off runway 1, 8 for left cross, or left downwind departure to the north, that's right. Yeah, we could add some power, looks like 20% is what we need. I want you to stay on it. Keep looking at the speed. Yep. Don't wait for me to tell you. Yep. So we're at four miles here. Four so. mile final runway yep. one eight. French Valley traffic. Red Cirrus on a four mile final for runway one eight. French Valley. Good. Let's see. We got a guy here. So it looks like we need 25% power. I want you to not stop yep. doing what you're doing until we get 100 knots. Does that make sense? Okay. Cool. Yep. Totally. Good. Be relentless. Good work. Whatever will make that happen. And whenever she calls out minimums, I want you to take your foggles off. You got it. And we could make another call and say two mile final. French Valley traffic, red Cirrus on a two mile final for runway 18, French Valley. Good. All right, let's slow it down a little bit more. For Romeo's turn left crosswind for a downwind departure to the north. That's right. Now we need to go to 15 because it's still speeding on us. About 300 feet away from minimums. Good. I'll just get a short final call. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do cool. it. Cool. French Valley traffic, Red Sears on a 1.5 mile uh, final for runway 18 French Valley. 
good. So, Chopper Series 87, uniform Romeo, climbing 2,500, 5,000, turning downwind, uh, departing to the north, last call, French Valley. Okay, so we want to be a little bit more here. Coming up on our minimums. Go. Cool. Coming up on our minimums. And... Minimums. Okay. So we'll just land flaps 50. Okay, we'll land flaps 50. Because we're too close to the ground to just go flaps 100 at this point. We're too close to go. And we're kind of low here? Yeah. There we go. Feels fast. So we're going to bleed off some energy here. Good. There's yeah. less parasitic drag with flaps 50. We're just going to let it go. Good. Okay. Well, well, welcome to French Valley. Try to do a little. A little, little wheelie. Fast. Well, I was, yeah, I was trying to do a little aerodynamic braking. But. Uh, yeah, there's, you see what less drag feels like? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The plane just wants to go fly and fly and fly. Good. So we could taxi off on uh, the next one, which looks to be the end of the runway. End of the runway? Okay. That's what it looks like over yeah, here. Okay. Uh, actually, no, there's one right here. Alpha 4. Okay. Good work! Let me just pull over, we'll configure, and then we'll, we'll talk business. Bees nuts. Um, okay, let me give them a call. French Valley traffic, Red Cirrus, 218 Julius Cirrus, is off of runway 18 French Valley. Good work. Okay, hold on, hold on. And now we can relax for half a second as we configure. Catch our breath. Yeah, as we configure. Good. Catch our breath. Good. So it's kind of interesting. What, and this is good because I'll be more and more silent and it'll be yeah. more on you to remember and figure out. There's a lot going on. Uh, also, where would you like to go, by the way? You want to you ta go we'll back? We'll taxi back. Okay. Um, the reason you were confused with the altitudes is because the altitudes that that showed was the VNAV's suggestion to reach that waypoint at if you wanted a continuous slide all the way to 35 uh -huh. at Dana. Yeah. So what you're looking at here are step downs. Yeah. Yeah. And I. Yeah, I was yep. confused by that. Yes. Those numbers were not were not the same as what I'm. Correct. Looking at. So, so you like, need to understand that those numbers are VNAV suggestions as to what will maintain a constant slide down the slide. Okay. Make sense. Yes. But follow and your approach plates if you're doing step downs. If you're choosing to do vertical speed and step downs, 38. Um, let's just like you did. The other thing too is I saw you press the altitude button. Right. When we didn't necessarily have to, if you have 38 in your floor, it was when you do vertical speed, it automatically reverts to altitude hold mode when it reaches that. Yes. As long as you have the right floor in there, it will. It should it will, reach it, it should, and hold it. Yeah. So. So that was me being a newbie and also kind of just being nervous that. I was very, I really didn't want to go below that. Yeah, so you don't want to do that. You just set your like, floor, vertical speed, right? right? Think about descending in normal, in, uh, in route normally. I've um, never, never been here before. Yeah, you know what? Is there a porta potty? Uh, there's self serve here. I'll bet you there's, yeah, there's a building. Yeah, I bet there's something in there. Okay, let's, let's do that. You can just go right here. Okay, I'm just gonna go down. Yeah. Do you need to use the bathroom? I do not. Cool. How do you not? I, well, because I, I went before we... Uh... I did too. Um, anyhow, so when you descend and cruise, a normal en route, guess what happens when the VS reaches the altitude? It levels off. It levels off, yeah. Same thing on the approach.